It's Jordan from the Mulligan Brothers, and today's interview highlight is with Master Shi Heng Yi talking about visualization. If you're enjoying the Shi Heng Yi content, please consider supporting us at mulliganbrothers.com, link in the description where you can now buy these new t-shirts, the Inspire Change line, and the hardest worker in the room lines just dropped as well. All of that makes this stuff possible. Let's jump into the video. Some people have this inspiration in the mind and then they start to manifest because they know that mind is so powerful, I am capable of, do it, of doing it. So they use the power of the mind to manifest something and either benefit themselves or maybe benefit others. But it is the same powerful mind which for other people then at the same time is creating the fear. But instead of understanding, yeah, but it's the mind, I just need to switch it over and make it useful for me. No, they stay inside the fear, the fear becomes more, the powerful fear becomes even stronger and then it becomes so strong, the fear, that it even blocks people in doing anything. But the fear, it's a construct of the mind in the first place. Your fear that you get a, a car is going to hit you tomorrow. Yeah, hello. We are not tomorrow. We are here right now. Why, why you think about tomorrow the, ha the car could hit you? Who says it's going to happen? And where is the evidence it's going to happen? Where is the evidence it's not going to happen? You don't know. Stop thinking about tomorrow. The music is playing here right now. Yeah, but this fear of the future, this anxiety of what if. Yeah, what if and what if not. <laughs> Both of them are there. But the problem with the fear is, is very strong. Yeah, and these are now just ideas, yeah, that I think they are extremely related to the activities of the Qigong training, of the Kung Fu training. Yeah, once again, yes, it is important that you also know when you are practicing a martial art, that you know how to apply the techniques and that you're also able to use them and at the same time not just like give out things, also to receive things. That is one aspect in terms of the physicality of the practices. Nevertheless, it's not important that you become a good fighter in this world. And it's not important that you become a good spiritual guide in this world. It's important that you find a way to live a pleasant life and in the best case, support other people that they also find the same. This is what it's about. No matter in which form you put it and which from cultural background you put it. The main idea is, if you don't find this way of reducing the suffering of your surrounding, your suffering won't stop. Why? Because you're connected. So that means you want to save yourself, save all others. You want to save all others, save yourself. So what is the best thing that can happen? You save yourself and you save the others. Then everyone is saved. Then it's called saved. As long as there is just one inside this complete constellation who carries the seed of suffering inside of him, your work is not finished yet. Because then it can always come back again. Because that one is going to infect more. And then that everlasting fight about which, which of these now is like dominating your current state. Which of these states at the moment is dominating? It's a constant up and down. As long as you have the number two somehow in your life, this up and down is part of it. 
and this is why in order for it to stop it can only be like this and then don't move anymore. Even that sounds very philosophical, but for me it's pretty real. And this is, you know. I think um, we could go on 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 these uh, the, on those philosophies and those those things for a while. Um, I'm mindful that I do mention some of the training we saw today, um, just so we can link it back uh, in the for the film. Um, so, do you? know the sessions, all the sessions that happened today, would you be able to explain so. how and wh why they there and, and who, who was uh, leading the classes or the, the groups and all that kind of stuff? So for example, in one of the group practices that we had today, you saw uh, uh, one of our teachers and he spent here, for example, in the past, he was a novice inside our monastery but meanwhile also he found another passion, yeah, which is for example dancing. But it always remained the same, that he just has this energy to, to keep people, to push people. And this is why we from time to time uh, take him that he's training our disciples and what they were practicing today outside there was a so-called Taolu. Taolu meaning it is a form like a choreography so every movement is already precisely let's say uh, determined what, what movement is going to come after the next and so in the beginning states for what is this type of training number one is first of all you learn to coordinate yourself number one is about your own coordination afterwards it's also about because you make it in the group, it doesn't matter how fast you are, doesn't matter how uh, slow you are, find a pace that the group is on one level. Yeah? When it is a group form, it's not about you only. It is about on the one side you have to coordinate yourself, but in harmony with the rest. So that's meaning your eyes on the one side, they need to be open to see where are the others, what are the others doing. But on the same side, you are inside of yourself. And so these are very slight and fine things that you would maybe normally not even mention. But when this type of things are happening on a regular basis, day in, day out, every week, every month, through a whole year, it becomes natural that no matter where you are sitting, no matter where you're walking, you know what's going on around you. You know if people are watching you. Even if they're behind there, it doesn't matter because you have this, this natural thing developed that always there is something also paying attention to the outside. It's not just about you. It's about this and this. Now, this is the one aspect where I would say uh, it is taking an effect on, on the way how you are creating and building up your mind. There you go. A Shaolin master talking about visualization. For me, this just affirms that visualization does work and we should all be using it in our day-to-day -day life. Guys, I also wanted to say a massive thank you for all the support on the Shi Heng Yi content. It's been crazy. The first two videos are over 3 million views in total now. The highlights are doing amazing and you guys are getting amazing lessons and inspiration out of them. So thank you so much for all the support. If you want to support content like this, we actually drove all the way to Germany to go do this project. So if you want to support projects like this, please consider becoming a YouTube member, which I think is down here. There's a join button where you can become a member of this show. You can also become a producer of the whole channel and you'll get producer credits in the, in the uh, credits at the end of the film so the end of this you'd get credits on there um, and also you can have a to head over to mullingbrothers.com where you can buy the inspire change t-shirts you can buy the hardest worker in the room t-shirts you can buy the lfg t-shirts 
all linked down below and purchasing those t-shirts is literally what keeps the light on, lights on in this room. It keeps us being able to drive to Germany and film these projects and it keeps us being able to inspire change. So thank you to everybody who's been doing that. If you do purchase something, go over to Instagram and tag us in it, at Jordan Mulligan Brother, at Mulligan Brothers, and we'll get in contact and share some stuff. And it's uh, nice to just see you guys inspiring change out there as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a blessed and productive day. Go inspire some change. Peace.